Hello everyone, I'm Quentin Millière, Scientific Mediation Project Engineer, and in the name of the East Blue Cup team, composed by Pauline Le Tortu, University Lecturer, Riwalen Ruyo, Pedagogical Engineer, and myself, all from the UBO University of Brest in France, I'm going to present you the East Blue Cup format in the context of SDGs Online Forum 2022. As the Sustainable Development Goals are now part of the broad societal issues and as our today's students are the tomorrow collaborators, it seems essential to us to teach the SDGs in our university courses. The aspiration was to include the SDGs and climate change in our teaching to take into account societal challenges within the science and society teaching unit of the master's degree in marine and coastal sciences. The Climate Cup, being a world summit with international impacts and having the SDGs as its core target, appeared to be the ideal format to build our local training event, East Blue Cup. East Blue Cup is a simulation of international negotiation for a climate agreement. This event takes up the characteristics of the real cup in a role-playing game form. This format allows our students to develop the art of negotiation and the presentation and exchange of arguments on climate change issues. Therefore, the UBO and East Blue educational team has created an innovative, multi-level and transdisciplinary pedagogical approach to mobilize our 300 students around the societal issues. This training format involves several university levels around common problematics. Bachelor and master degrees, but also postgraduates, worked in a transdisciplinary way on some of the SDGs, number 11, 12, and 13. For two months, students of master degree and postgraduate have worked on problematics related to the SDGs. They were divided into groups on the round table with three major goals. The first was the delegation of countries. Sole holders of the decision-making power, they had to know their characteristics their areas where they were ready to negotiate and those where they were not. The second and third one were the NGOs and the multinational companies, respectively. Their main goal was to convince and influence the countries the D-Day by developing arguments and decisions expectations. The main objective was to set on the SDGs targets by taking into account its role, its action policy and range of actions. On another side, second-year geography students have worked for one month by embodying the role of journalist. They have prepared questions on master students' problematics and their link to the SDGs targets. Different types of media were represented by students. Traditional media, scientific media, modern media and active media. Death, each student group had to follow the style and content of the chosen media type. The purpose for bachelor students was to ask questions to master students for each roles, countries, NGOs and multinational companies during the D-Day and present the results as one page articles or three minutes videos. In order to add an awareness dimension, the event was open to the general public. Local association focusing on the climate Climatic Tech, Astrolab Expedition, Sailing Hirondelle, and Meteo France were invited to animate stains all day for the general public and students. This was also a relevant way to bring the event to life. All the preliminary work from students was intended to feed the debate during the day of restitution, the 16th of November. The morning was devoted to the simulation of the negotiation for a climate agreement. Each group of master students presented their position in relation to the problematic and the SDG that concerned them. Then, negotiation between roles, countries, NGOs, multinational companies have started. Students had until noon to debate and write a climate agreement with the points of agreement fund and the points of divergence, if there were any, between the different parties. The afternoon was dedicated to the simulation of the press conference. Each group of master students have presented their climate agreement on their problematic and their SDG. 
they developed orally the point covered during the negotiation and explained why and how the points of agreement were decided or not. For each climate agreement, a time for questions and discussion with the audience was planned. It is in this scheduled time that the bachelor students embodying the journalist role ask their questions to the master students. In terms of benefits, this Blue Cup is a real opportunity to respond to the growing demand for meaning from students. This local training event offered them a transdisciplinary format which requires them to invest together in common themes and allows them to develop their transversal skills. This format also proposed to students a training in current societal issues, sustainable development and the SDGs. It also involves them in an innovative pedagogical format, that is the simulation game. Nevertheless, some areas of improvement remain and will be adjusted for next year, like somewhat timid propositions from some students, lot of committee creation for example, and also a lack of a strong link between our students and socio-economic actors. For the new format of East Blue Cup in 2022, some modification will be made. The organization of East Blue Cup will be integrated into Brest Metropole events, our local city administration, in order to amplify the links with regional communities, elected representatives and the socio-economic actors. With this partnership and the involvement of local experts, we will apply the negotiation on a more local scale by directing students to proposals for more concrete and applicable action on their territory. We will also expand the framework by integrating other components of the UBO or other East Blue partners. Then this will bring new exploration team and new expertise in this approach. We could have, for example, SDG number 9 on industry innovation and infrastructure for engineering school. And finally, we would like to expand the dimension of the event. Indeed, we have started collaboration within CU. For this year, 2022, we will organize the arrival of two teachers from the University of Split in Croatia, Gorana Jelic and Eli Marusic, to attend the second edition of East Blue Cup. Ultimately, the objective is to create a blending intensive program for the 2023 edition, which will allow our students to work jointly with the students of Split and have them come for restitution week in order to add an international dimension. Of course, this aspect is open to other CU universities. Feel free to contact me if you want to join the event for 2023. To end this video, here is an unexhaustive list of key points to make a good cup. Put transdisciplinarity in first place. Working groups need to be composed of all disciplines or at least several discipline students. Insist on the exchange time of the negotiation rather than the press conference. This time is often very interesting for students and observers. Plan people responsible for the time especially for the negotiation part where students can debate and no longer watch the time. Involve students in the press conference audience. Thus, there will always be interactivity. Prefer small working groups so that everybody can participate. And if you can, make a small budget available for students, for track printing, flag buying, etc. This will help the event to live. Thank you for your attention and feel free to contact me if you want any precision.